Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Duamel. And girl, if you don't know me, this is the chance to get to know me. Hi, Duamel Bentley. Subscribe to the channel so you can binge watch. It's a thing in this channel. In today's video, girl, we are gonna be talking about uh, something that actually was really, really popular a really for a really long time, a while back, and they just kind of redid it. It's called uh, Tarte High Performance Naturals Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. This is what that guy looks like, very similar to the old one. I actually never got to try the regular shape tape. I know it was like all of the rage, everybody's like, yes, oh my God, shape tape, shape tape, shape tape. But we did try the foundation, we didn't like that. Just not the vibe, it just wasn't the vibe. I had, I had heard a lot of people say that it was very, very heavy. Um, that it on camera with all of the lights, it looked great, but in real life, it just it didn't look um, all that great. So I wanted to try this one out because there's nothing worse than a cakey, dry concealer underneath your eyes. Girl, literally nothing worse. Uh, however, this guy, I have been trying it, as you can see here, the box is a little bit dirty. I have been utilizing, and I actually have a couple of thoughts, and I want to discuss those with you guys. I thought it was going to be a great additive to the channel. So, let's get started. Also, we're going to be talking about Tatcha, the very, very famous... Um, skincare brand, they launched a silk powder, and I mean, we're gonna be talking about this as well. I personally haven't used anything from Tatcha except for like the water cream. Did we use anything else from Tatcha other than the water cream? Well, we're gonna try the powder today, but I think we the only thing, oh, that's true. The little scrub, the Ensign scrub, you, you kind of like, yeah, that is true. We tried that in Las Vegas. Yeah, the water gel. So, I mean, we haven't been the biggest fans of Tatcha. I know Tatcha's like huge. So I'm excited to try this and see if maybe this grabs our attention in the channel. So what I wanted to do, when I purchased this lovely powder, I got this little Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas. I know the silk canvas comes in a similar jar to this, very popular as well, but they gave me this little sample, so we're gonna be using that today. Of course, my skin is clean, it is dry, and semi-prepped, I did apply a little bit of, you know, like a little prep spray, so everything can attach successfully to it. So this is what that guy looks like. Mm, okay. I'm gonna just kind of go here. I wonder if this is gonna dry down to almost like a powder. I'm kind of like intrigued. All right. Now the cool thing about this packaging in particular, or this little sample, the cool thing about the sample, girl, this looks like sunscreen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. All right guys, I finished applying the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas on the skin. It actually feels a little heavy, which I kind of am shocked. I didn't expect it to feel the way it does. It feels like almost a thinner version of the Benefit Cosmetics. Uh, I, I literally can't think today. I don't know what the hell is going on with this brain, but girl, wake up, we're working. So I still have a little bit left. I want to kind of use it all just because we want to see how this works. Definitely, if you were not to use it all, it gives you, I want to say, a two to three times application. It feels nice. It has a little bit of a floral scent to, I want to say like a cherry blossom scent to it. Very, uh, when I smell these kind of fragrances, I think to myself, it's very cultural. Um, I find it really beautiful, so that's nice. That's really cool. It feels nice on the skin as well. So like if you're a person that likes that kind of like blurring effect, this might be a really good one. In the back, it does say a little bit. I have some on my finger here, girl. I don't like to waste anything. 
So it says here in the back that this is a featherweight, which I don't agree. I definitely think you can feel it on the skin. It is an oil-free liquid silk primer that makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of the skin. Okay, so I can feel that. Maybe that's what I'm feeling. It feels like a barrier, almost like sunscreen. That's kind of like what I'm getting. However, I do feel it on the skin. Is it really heavy? Is it gunky? No, but I do feel the product on the skin. I did apply a lot of it, so let's not just, you know, say it's, oh my God, it could have been me. I definitely did this entire swatch um, and there's still some more. And of course, girl, you know, mama's gonna be adding the rest of this. Again, no wasting, not one bit, but it does protect the skin, which is really, really nice. It says here, helping minimize clogged pores and breakouts. Nice, okay, there we go. Hmm, love that, that's nice. Okay, so now we have that on. It is drying and when it's drying, it's not heavy, even though I applied so much of it. Um, it felt heavier when it was wet. Now it almost feels like a, literally a silk environment. Um, you know, doesn't really change the color of my skin, doesn't reduce or minimize anything, just kind of looks a little bit more smoother. Um, and it feels, you know, almost like, again, it feels like a net over my face, which is an interesting feeling. I actually have never felt that before. So interesting, Tatcha, interesting. I'm gonna grab my little hand mirror here. I do think that it minimized the look and the appearance of the pores on my face, actually by a little bit. Mm, love that, okay. So, that's actually really interesting. I'm excited to try um, the actual size of that because it feels really, really nice. And looking at my skin up close, it minimized really, really well. I'm gonna give it like 30 more seconds and while I give you the 30 seconds to dry because I don't wanna be moving it too much and I wanna see if this really does work really well. While I give those 30 seconds, I'm gonna be talking to you guys again about why we're here. And this again is a Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. Let's open her up. It says it's America's number one concealer brand. Now, Let's talk a little bit about Tarte. I personally love Tarte. I love their makeup. I love what they stand for. However, they're really boring. Like a lot of their looks and a lot of the things they're bringing are just like falling behind. And it's so crazy to me because Tarte is to me such a great quality brand, such a, it, at its time, it was such an innovator go-to brand. Definitely one of those brands that you know 110% you're gonna be relying on. Like I have makeup palettes from them, I have face palettes from them, now I have, you know, this. We tried at when it first launched the face tape. Um, that one didn't work as well. For some reason, face products with them, I just haven't been very attracted to, but like a face palette um, with highlighters, so good. Their blushes are incredible. Their eyeshadow palettes are phenomenal. Their, the quality is just incredible. So I, I don't know what's going on with Tarte, but they definitely need to kind of revamp and renew because Mama is, is you know, she's a little bored. She's a little bored. They launched just recently this really soft kind of pinky nude palette. And I feel like how many of those are in the aisle? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, come on, innovate it. Give me something crazy. I remember they launched, um, it was Christmas time, maybe like four years ago. They launched, um, I think it was called like Remix or something like that, a pro palette remix. I think that's what the name was. And it had um, a lot of bright colors in there. Like that was like exciting. I was like, wow, this is cool. This is innovative because they're definitely more of a neutral, natural kind of environment. However, um, you know, they, they have a lot of opportunity for growth. So I was excited to try that. So when I saw this, I said, you know what? This is a great opportunity for me to try the brand and apply this in a different way. Uh, I do think it's been, you know, a little bit of the time here. I do see that there's a baby little white cast on my skin. Now, let's talk about the Tarte Ultra Creamy. So the shade that I have is the 22B. It's 0.33 ounces. 
It gives you 24 hours moisture, it has 35 shades, and it's $27, which is actually not that bad. I think that's a really good price point. I'm so traumatized over the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. That literally was a nightmare for me, so <laughs> bear with me. I'm still getting over it. I'm going to therapy. NARS, I'm sending you the bill, honey, so send me some PR or something. I'll cover it with that. All right, <laughs> so this is the doe foot here. And what I wanna do is I wanna do an undercoat and a top coat to see if this really builds up to be cakey. This says it's not supposed to be cakey. It's supposed to be very radiant, very creamy. So I'm gonna do on no makeup. I'm gonna start off within the areas. I mean, off of the bat already, it looks really radiant and creamy. Like it's nice. It applies super, super easily. Something I didn't love was this product kind of like leaving it's, it's a little weird. It's like, did I get a defective one? Like, I don't know. I've never had that happen before. But I mean, it's going on really nicely. And the size of the doe foot applicator, it's actually really, really nice. I enjoy that a lot, to be quite honest with you. Doing it for a second dip, I'm just gonna go here as well kind of like going under and highlighting under. I will say that Tatcha Silk Canvas is beautiful. Like the skin looks really nice and blurred. All right. So that's kind of like the areas I'm normally highlighting in. So what I'm gonna do is with a sponge, I'm gonna go in and blend this guy out and then I'm gonna apply my foundation. So let's start the blending here. So on its own, it's blending actually really, really well. It doesn't look dry. It actually looks really, really nice and soft. Um, so, I mean, on first impressions, it's looking pretty good. But we'll see how this builds up, how it plays with the foundation, because there's literally nothing worse than going in with your foundation and then blending out your concealer and then having like that line there that literally does just not go away. Doesn't matter if you make a pact with like your landlord, it just doesn't go away, you know? I mean, I will say though, it is blending out like very, very effortlessly very easily and the coverage i want to say on first impressions it's a medium i don't think it's a full right off the bat so I, I would say it's a blendable formula i don't necessarily think that it's giving me too much much coverage and it's it's going drying down to like a natural finish it says it's a natural matte uh but with that radiance within so, I mean, overall this is, it's looking good so far. So let me do this. Let me apply my foundation. I want to kind of make sure, like I said, this is being put to the test. I'm going to be applying my foundation. I will be right back. All right, guys, so foundation is on. It's looking really, really nice. I think the silk canvas um, definitely creates a protective layer. However, I don't think it's that blurring uh, when it comes down to blending the foundation and going in. I definitely think it gets a little bit lost in the sauce within the foundation. However, I mean, it, it feels pretty great. Definitely if you wanna lock in whatever you're applying underneath your foundation, powder it. I should have done that. I didn't think to do it, but definitely that's a good tip to do so. I'm gonna go in with the second layer of the Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. I mean, so far this actually goes on pretty well. I think the applicator is really nice to apply, but I almost wish that it would hold a little bit more product because you definitely have to dig in there 
uh, and kind of pick out more. But I will say overall, it's really nice. It glides on the skin really, really lovely. I'm excited, I'm excited to try this and like see what's going on. Uh, in front of the camera because like I said I have tried it with several different environments different foundations and I mean I've had a really good experience so far but you know I'm putting it really to the test today so I'm excited for this I'm gonna go ahead and blend this guy out okay so this is the second one as you can see it's kind of like blending really really well I'm not having like a weird line or anything of markation and it looks nice and bright hmm. I'm kind of happy with that going in for the second eye All right, so this is what it looks like without setting it. What do you guys think? Does it feel nice and radiant and creamy? I feel like it gives you a nice coverage. I almost want to say it, she's like a medium to full. I don't want to say she's a full full because they've had fuller, um, but I definitely think this, this does pretty well on its own. Let me set it before it goes crazy. Today for setting, we're gonna be using the Tatcha Silk, the Silk Powder, and it's actually really beautiful. It comes with this purple kind of type here. And then the powder comes out like so. I normally just put it on my hands. My hands are clean and sanitized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in first with a gentle powder film just to ensure, you know, to lock it in very nicely. And then I'm gonna go in and bake with the same powder. But I mean, looking at it at first impressions, it looks very, very silky, very, very soft. It has a little bit of a tint to it. It almost looks a little yellow, kind of bright. It's supposed to be translucent, but it has a little bit of tint to it. setting wherever we put the concealer. Just whatever excess I have of powder just kind of growing around my face, setting everything. I mean, on first impressions, the skin looks very silky, very, very silky. I'm gonna go ahead and bake. I will say the only thing I'm not obsessed with this powder is that it has micro fine kind of radiant beads. I think that's really cool, but the problem with that for me is that it looks nice and radiant, but it can also enhance texture. It can also enhance um, just unwanted lines and I don't know, not the vibe for me in that case. Okay guys, so I have baked and I have kind of finalized my face. I'm going for more of like a very natural, I woke up like this kind of a vibe. And I cannot tell you how incredible this product has been. And when I say this, I mean like both of them. The Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Creamy Concealer. I have my iPad in front of me here because, oh my God, I have to talk to you guys about a couple of things. So a couple of the claims is that, you know, it's formulated to have a 24 hour moisturization under the eye. Uh, it's pigment, you know, it's gonna be, you know, very hydrating imagery, never looking dry. It has prickly pear, you know, it has, 
so many great things, so many great ingredients. I'm just shocked at how good this looks. I feel like even though we did two passes, this just looks really, really nice. However, I'm still a little bit baked, so I'm just gonna remove the baking, you know. Um, on one side here so we can see. And then on the other. All right, powder is fully removed. I mean, the concealer just looks great. I think the concealer is a really good option. If you are normally looking for something that's very creamy, natural, and hydrating, and natural setting, this might be a really great option for you. Honestly, the spacing is a lot. It has, let's see here, 0.33 again. Um, I don't have any complaints about it. I feel like this is a really great find. I love the way this looks. I feel like it's nice and natural. The color selection, they have so, so many. And I mean, overall, I feel like this just looks nice. I feel like it wears comfortably. I don't have anything negative to say about this product. I definitely liked it. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, if you guys are wondering, what did I use for blush? I'm gonna retouch myself with um, Feisty by Tarte. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit here on my brush. Same brush that I used to kind of wipe everything away. And I'm just dragging a little bit of the blush here just to bring back a little bit of life to the skin because of course we baked and we powdered and you know, makeup kind of softens out a little bit. And I wanna make sure my blush looks nice and radiant. Gonna go a little bit on the nose area as well. A little bit on the forehead. You know, it's kind of interesting because my blush videos kind of do the best. And I'm shocked because blush, out of everything in the makeup, like anything putting on your face, blush is the most intimidating, the most scary and vulnerable I can be in this channel. And like I did the NYX, um, blushes we did a review on a couple of those and guys that video kind of skyrocketed it did pretty well for what we normally do on the channel we're still growing um and we're so grateful for every single one of you but that video shocked me because i did not expect i never expected i'm picking up a little bit more i never expected that video to do so well and a lot of people really enjoyed it so if you guys want to see further videos with me trying different types of blushes. Let me know, girl, because mom is happy to, you know, try it. But be warned, I get intimidated by blush like nobody's business. It's just so scary to me because I've seen so many horror stories, but I absolutely love blush. It's just like a weird vibe in my opinion. But back to the concealer. Like I said, it contains avocado, hyaluronic acid, you know, vegan squalene. It has, um, I'm sorry if I butcher this, but it has meadow sweet, mango and shea butter. Like it's just really, really nourishing. And I'm kind of excited about that. I really do like it. I think it looks really, really nice. It's not creasing. Um, it just, it looks great. I feel like it weared really, really well. I like the color. I like the vibrancy, like I, I enjoy it. Definitely one of my favorites. Now, <clears throat> move over regular shape tape. It's time for the ultra creamy to come and shine, if you know what I mean. So that's that with that concealer. Again, 24 hour moisturization, very affordable. Like I said, you know, it's underneath $30, 27 to be exact before taxes and all of that stuff. So I would encourage you to get it. I think this is a great product and you don't have to go as heavy as I did. I wanted to show you that even though if you go heavy, we did two coats of plenty of product, it still looks really good. Like it doesn't look heavy or cakey or it's not creasing like a maniac. It works really nicely. So this is a thumbs up for me. Now let's hop over to the Tatcha The Silk Powder. Now, on first impressions on the silk powder, it definitely silkenizes the skin. I think it looks amazing, very luminous. 
However, if you're a textured person, I don't believe this is gonna be your cup of tea. I do think this is great for, let's say for example, if you're more oily or textured in particular areas on top of your regular Love True powder, but I don't think this is good enough for you to try on your skin to set and to create your face. The reason why is because it is a luminous powder and some stats on this actual powder is that number one, it's one of the powders that are clean in Sephora. It protects your skin because it allows kind of like a shield for blue light. So anytime you have your phone, any kind of crazy light artificially, it protects your skin from that. So it's really, really nice because it protects your skin. Like, I cannot say that enough. I really do like this product because it protects your skin. It's clean ingredients. Again, it's not going to clog your pores. It has silk extracts. It has silk powder in here. It helps with maintaining the moisture balance. Anybody can use this. What I would just say is, I don't think this is a setting powder. I think this is a finishing powder. And that's very important to note. And the reason why I use it today as a setting and a finishing powder, I don't think that because of number one, it has the iridescence to it. Um, I don't think that that's gonna be beneficial for minimizing texture or minimizing fine lines, things like that, appearance of them. And when you kind of, you know, go at, let's say for example, I'm gonna soften it out. We have some here or some here, we'll use this one. Like when you set your skin fully and you wanna just kind of like finish your skin, I think this is a great, great product for that. But I don't think, because it, it, like you can see here, it gives you like a little bit of brightness, luminosity, it silkenizes the skin. Like it works really, really well. But I will say that I don't believe that this is a good product for um, setting fully your skin. It, and it will enhance texture, pores. It will enhance any kind of thing that you're trying to maybe soothe out if you're using it as a setting. But if you're using it as a finishing, this looks so beautiful, so radiant, so soft. So I absolutely love this product. I mean, it's 0 0.7 ounces, it's not that big, and it is $48. Now, Tatcha is really well known for their price point, so definitely this was not gonna be a cheap product whatsoever. However, I will say that even though this is not gonna be a cheap product by any means, this is a product that works. And as you can see here, just my skin looks very beautiful, very airbrushed, very soothed, silky. It, it just works, it works really well. I was very pleasantly surprised to see how beautiful this left my skin. But again, I don't think this is a finishing powder. I, uh, excuse me, I don't think this is a setting powder. I definitely would only use this as a finishing, kind of like I'm done, I'm gonna wipe my baking. Let me add some of that, boom, boom, boom. And I feel like that way, then you're like, okay, I get it. The price point is okay with the sizing, things like that, because you're not gonna be dusting your face with all of the powder. You're gonna be just in specific areas, you know, especially for those guys and gals that are, you know, normal to combination to oily, that's how best it would benefit, in my opinion, their skin. I mean, overall, I had a really great experience with the Tarte Shape Tape Creamy Concealer. Love her. And now my new addition of the Silk Powder Tatcha uh, Powder. It's incredible, like I absolutely enjoyed it. I love how finely milled it is. I will say though, um, the liquid canvas, the liquid silk canvas is an interesting guy. But I think where I went wrong is that I use this as, because it's nowhere, it doesn't say it's a finishing powder. Um, and I mean, there's no rules really, but based off of my experience, for example, the one size by Patrick Starr, that is a setting powder. That right there will set it and it will make your skin look flawless, but it's a matte powder. So if you wanted to go in with the one size, both you can find it Sephora, the one size, I, iconic, I love it. And then you finish it off with the silk canvas, girl, 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 gir
girl, so, so good. But I will say, I absolutely love it. I definitely think it's a little bit of a price point, but if you're using it adequately, I definitely think that that would be the best way. I think it, it is worth its money. It is protecting your skin, which it also makes sense to use it as a finishing powder because just like you would put at the end of your skincare in the morning, your um, SPF, this is the same thing. You would protect your skin at the end step. So 110% recommend both of these products. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I was kind of shocked. I didn't expect to, to try both of these and love them as much as I did. I definitely think that my skin looks radiant and beautiful, both under my eyes and then underneath the under eye area. So like full face looks really, really cute. I absolutely love it. And I mean, as a setting powder, it worked well, but I just don't think that, mm, Anybody who has a lot of texture or fine lines, you know, just regular normal skin, but typically if you're more like normal to like combination to oily, which you typically have a little bit of a larger pore, um, I don't recommend this as a setting powder, but overall, extremely pleased with both of the products. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you. We want you to join the Dufay family. Tell your mother, your sister, your cat, your dog, your cockroach. We don't judge, girl. It is what it is. And you know what? You gotta binge watch because it's a thing in this channel. And I <clears throat> will catch you on the next one. Bye.